Hello my friends, welcome back to another video review. Uh, we have a package today from One Day Savings. Uh, this store, it's coming one of my favorites, I would say, by the price. Because as I mentioned before, they have a good price at that store. And those uh, folders that I use for collecting diamond paintings, the book, uh, it's really so far as I know it was the best price. You can check that for yourself if you don't believe me. If you can find cheaper anywhere, let me know as well. So I can point it out to some other people. But for now, we have a package that uh, they asked me to review their new product. And also I pick one product. But till the time this uh, package arrives in here, it's not exactly new anymore because we did this use some review already about this product so uh, now I cannot compare the price right now but uh, I will link it up for you and you check so in here we have three six seven eight colors mm, I'm not sure it's supposed to be eight or nine but here it is let me just open one for those who did not see it i have video review already uh, of this product and i measure for 30 by 40 centimeters you are safe to use more than enough it is lots in here and what i want to see okay yes it's sticky because it's sticking to the sides in here okay maybe just like that uh, I open one and show you that this is really nice and squishy material, kind of like a crack painting. And it's just a, such a beautiful soft color. It looks like a lot in here. Now I did measure for the 30 by 40 centimeters work perfect. And I just quickly kind of line up like this of the colors because we did already open them and you saw them. Here is the four colors from uh, lighter to darker. Beautiful. Uh, and then we have nice kind of like a copper and then a black. Another three colors in here. The designs on them all the same all the same design so that's a beautiful beautiful collection if you want to do framing uh, framing for your pictures uh, also you can frame your cross stitch pretend this is a frame not just for the diamond paintings you can use them like somebody suggested you can use them as a border around your ceiling but you will need lots of stick together because it's not very long so for the ceiling you will have lots of seams maybe not as good idea but for crafty purposes it's definitely good so what i have in here i will try to measure because i want to see if one of this roll will be good enough long enough to put in a frame a uh, diamond painting that is a 40 by 50 centimeters so of course well for example if i have in here with me let's say uh, let's say this square is 50 centimeters right so you will need this border not to measure like to the edges like from here to here no you will have to measure as much as wide this border in here to stick it out because what you will need to do let me just untangle this just to show you what I mean and somebody asked me to do demo and frame I will do hopefully from next week because this week I don't know if I have a time enough uh, as I have some videos review to put so you will have to kind of like a sticking out because if you put from the other side you can also need to overlap because you will need to create in here cut of 45 degree 
to connect this seamlessly if you want of course you will save a little bit link if you go just from this one like even and overlap this way but I don't think this will be like a nice sticking in here you will need to create like in a real picture right so this corner will be bent this corner will be bent to create well let's show you on the black so you can see better to create this kind of uh, stick as a corner as your like regular frame that you would buy in a store so of course we need a little bit longer so for now what I will do I have in here meter long so here's the zero and how much in here 40 oh no no, no. hold on hold on hold on okay 50 okay that was the inches okay here centimeters uh 50 centimeters so i want to see first this way if i measure exactly so we want we want to know we would like to know how many we need for one for example okay so here is my 50 so i will measure right now just like 50 and then I will bend on half to make my other 50 because this is would be okay this is would be 50 by 50 now if we have a 40 on the other side right if it's 50 by 40 centimeters diamond painting so these two pieces already will go for example you know 50 on one side and 50 on another side now we need to measure 40 so I will continue from here where is my centimeter so this is 40 will be from here to here let's see if I bend Ooh, from from here right did I measure right from here from here to here yes so from here to here I need another 40 just a minute we will get there okay so here is your another 40 okay so we already have in here two pieces of 50 two pieces of 40 and we have leftovers that would be enough for you to overlap a little bit longer to create those cuts on a 45 degree angle to create as a regular um, frame so that make me happy and I think I think this will be even enough to create 50 by 50 diamond painting or like 40 by 60 so one enough for one diamond painting for sure for the large size so that make me happy actually that's a good one now I know that we can create frame for the bigger pictures as well not just a little one and of course the color in here are so pretty I love this purple like a lilacs right that's beautiful product I'm really happy with this product in our stores and now you can see them more often uh, coming to different stores who has diamond paintings so uh, one day savings was the first store who um, offered to um, review this product but the other store kind of product show up a little bit faster shipping went so that's why um, you know this um, review was supposed to be first but definitely definitely beautiful product to have and now we know that we have enough link to create frame for the bigger design now the other design that i saw and i wanted to see what that is now we all know that i am ukrainian who live in canada which is canadian right now but all world right now or around the globe support ukraine uh, in this battle that we have right now and this pillow is like a one of the ukrainian designs that you can find even on the internet lots of free images and this speaks to me ukraine and 
Aita. Let me see what that is because obviously this is pillow and I wanted to see, I know that this is cross stitch, but when I receive, uh, I did not open yet, but when I flip on another side, I'm just like, OMG, it's not what I expected. And I did not see this on a website because it says on a website cross stitch um, canvas, but I didn't know that this is a different kind of canvas that I don't think I ever work on this uh, kind of um, canvas before. So this is definitely will be a challenge for me, but I love design itself. The design is gorgeous uh, and it says tapestry embroidery, DIY tapestry cushion cover. Design size 42 by 42 centimeters, so it's a perfect square. High sense eco ecological cotton, yes, environmentally friendly ink, bright colors. Uh, wow! So, here is what we have we have so many different stuff in here that. I don't even know what to do and but this is definitely something exciting so what size of this canvas what kind of look at that look what we have in here let's figure out because I thought this is will be a regular Ada for example maybe nine count or you know the big count but this is very stiff, very stiff, almost like, wow, this is very stiff design, print, obviously, if I put my, I didn't think I will need it, but I might be just perfect to have this piece of paper underneath so we can see properly design, and I want to see, and together with you, the print color it looks like printed perfectly on those squares where we need to stitch i don't think there's any any like a off centers or something looks perfect to me right uh yeah and in here also we have a pattern to go with it, which is wonderful if i want to create an account at cross stitch i can use this pattern we have in here instruction, instruction half stitch, continuous half stitch, end of the thread embedding have to do, flat stitch sewing, the red dotted line is the stitching position, okay, so um, red dotted line, where is the red dotted line in here? I think they meant to be like maybe edge in here uh, so yeah design is very beautiful and here is this little uh, to show you how to do different stitching how to do it okay and we have six colors of the threads now what else we have whole bunch of oh is this is already pre-made uh the pillow just a minute oh okay there's a more in here uh we have in here some special thread probably to stitch pieces together there's a different needles in here this is totally different uh design that i thought would be so we have in here it looks like a very good needle okay hold on let's get you close to me and hopefully we will see the needle so we have a thin one not very big uh, hole in here because we have in here it's like a very silky threads this is the silky threads so I would think maybe stitch together pieces 
that's what it is. Not sure yet till I read the whole instruction up there. Uh, let's put this away. And then we have very huge, very big needle. Look at that. Look at this. Wow. Okay. So if we put like this. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm after. Okay. If we go there and we have a thread. So we will be, it would be really tough to go because also you would have in here fold the thread. So it will make a lots of force. I might will use a smaller needle that I have. Uh, when I used to work to create that uh, little house with the plastic design, that's why actually I hurt my thumb because I pulled too hard. But they need a little bit smaller so it will be easy for me to go through these holes because the canvas is super, super stiff, very stiff. It's almost like plastic. Um, now, uh, where is my bag? Where is my bag? Here's the bag. Okay. So why we need this kind of big needle? Because we have a very thick, it's like a knit and crochet uh, threads in here, yarn. Uh, so now this piece is interesting to me. Okay. So we have already, um, I'm glad that they already pre-made, let me zoom out so you can see a little bit what is going on in here. So we already have a uh, zipper, when I started to review pillows regular cross stitch, remember I told you that they, like a backing was already stitched to the design. And I did complain about this to the stores to let factory know not to do this because you need to unstitch again, which is you need to break a piece away from this piece in order to stitch. Otherwise, it's not possible to stitch when you have a back and already stitched to your design. So I guess that that is the start. That's why they designed this stitch pieces together they told me before they will put zipper into the back and fabric later easy for you to stitch two pieces together so when we finish this obviously we will need to stitch our design to kind of put together right we will put together actually good that i have a black paper so my camera will go, not will go out of the focus. So later you will put your pieces together and then you have, of course, this a silver kind of silky um, threads to stitch all together or use your maybe um, uh, stitching machine, embroidery machine. Uh, I would just stitch with the hands because it's a big holes in here so you can kind of stitch together that's what it's for so that that's that's is good that is good that it's already pre-made and i have to say that um, when you stitch together this piece kind of you put this way and stitch this way so it will be kind of high than your zipper so you're not gonna even see zipper and to show you a little bit better the zipper is plastic Here's how it's done. Okay. All right. And this is a very nice and soft fabric. You can even use this as a stitching maybe. That is very, very nice and soft. Very, very smooth looking. This one is like a flannel thing. See how it's nice and soft in here. Not sure if this would be even like a iron and stick. It feels like very very nice and soft okay so i'm happy with this one because then you don't have to break pieces apart in order to cross stitch all right so this is good now let's see our threads what we have in here and how much we have in here there's anything else in here maybe missing 
let's shake it gentle no that's all we have so lots of white so obviously all the white well this is supposed to be stitched 100 percent right uh if if i can keep this a little bit in here so we have lots of white yarn to create all the design in here that's supposed to be white uh, then we have dark burgundy red for the darker design to the inside of these designs in here then brighter red obviously for the bright red colors then we have two colors of gray where are they go where did they gray go because the, the, also we have a black so the black would be um, if my thinking it's go this colors um okay there's a green and this orange color we need to look for in our pattern hold on so in here we have the black is number one number one will go for yes where it's black it's going to be color black okay just like that now i want to figure out number two darker gray number two it's going to be number two this purple hold on number three light gray light gray it's going to be in here purple it's so tiny symbols in here that literally i need to okay so number two is a little bit darker let's see let let's let me figure out in here a little bit uh how's the design go so i might need to open because i'm looking at right now on the inside in here that would be easy to kind of see um so number three i have all this purple in here so the purple color will be your number three which is this lighter color and then from the flowers corners two and three not two okay so the green color will be your number two but this also should in uh, this kind of like a flower C so so yes the purple color is your lighter gray and green is your darker gray okay now we got it a good thing for the piece of paper they actually have a paper and that that's the thread that's your regular yarn that you would make your sweaters and hats regular yarn black is black is really very black and then two colors of gray two colors of red and lots of white so I never stitched before like a project project just like a 3d a little house that was uh, similar threads but thinner this one I have to say they're more thicker threads and to compare kind of towards my hands you can see that that's a good size so I think maybe we will have to stitch this all in half stitches or full stitches uh, i will have to test it out and see uh, sometimes this kind of project could be stitched in just a half stitch and it's a good coverage because it is really thick threads it is a says in here how should we stitch hold on 
The serial number embroidery class correspond to the serial number of the threads, hole and the spool, each small piece. Uh, just, uh, just a minute. Let me just see quickly if it's actually telling us what the shape, no, oh, wait. Um, no, you know what, I do not see in here actually that it says a full stitch. So it could be just a half stitches in here. Which this picture in here, if I can show you, maybe let's see close to the camera. In here is it looks to you like a full stitch sample kind of yeah so I will try we will try because I'm very interested plus this is Ukrainian so I'm really happy about that I will try to do a half stitch and full stitch so we can see what the coverage would be because this is a very very thick yarn I think if I will do one stitch half stitch it will totally cover look at this I don't think we will need a full stitch that's what I'm thinking okay tell me if any of you already created anything like this uh, on this kind of fabric and did you use this for the half stitch or cross stitch and also I do not see in here usually it says what kind of count um, fabric is but it doesn't say in here there's nothing here that says what size of the fabric unless they say this on the website okay what's this the full work of wool embroidery thread is completed but by one strand and the seven pillow base fabric is completed by two strands of non of what no. non wires yeah we know this that we, we need to do this in one strand but is a half stitch or full stitch it doesn't say unless I missed somewhere anyway on the website in the description box it tell you more about uh, about this design what included and maybe up there you can see better what it says but sometimes they put that it's not proper description it could be they say cross stitch but it doesn't say what kind of stitching need to be done so that that's the thing that that's something that i would love to review and try and if i look in here on design can't really see if this is full stitch picture i think this is just the pixels as created on computer uh, i don't think it's done by actual design so it can't really see the proper way you have to stitch because this is just a picture generated by computer but definitely beautiful I love the colors in here all right my friends let me know what you think what you think about this borders if any of you already order this uh, adhesive self self adhesive tape and at the same time um, I kind of forgot to tell you, like, for in case if you did not see my other video review, there is a piece of paper in here that you peel. Sometimes it feels like it's a very, very thin layer of paint and it's kind of coming out with the paper. So you need to kind of push it back and let go again to make sure the glue did not rip away. So how strong it is, I don't know. So also my uh, next review that we will do with these borders, it will be, we will place 
to create our diamond painting as a frame and everything and I want to see how good this will hold is it going to be on stick after for a while or is it gonna peel away after a week or two I don't know so I will definitely um, pick some design that I already completed I will see which color I will pick because there's a lots of beautiful colors to choose from and I will be demo tutorial for you we will we will do everything from scratch I will prepare a few pieces uh, that will need it for that design uh, to create our frame and hopefully it will stay on because it looks like a very very thin glue I'm not sure how strong this will be holding to what I want to use so thank you so much for staying with me today thank you very much one day saving for this beautiful product I love 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 this design and hopefully I will like to work with this kind of threads I, I wish there would be like also regular cross stitch let's say 11 or 9 count Ada uh, but in a regular Ada in a soft fabric instead of being this kind of very 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 harsh so after I wash is it going to be softer or not? I have no idea because I never work on it. So this is also something that I would love to review and maybe try a little bit to see how this will work. So that would be my next tutorials in the future. Stay tuned, subscribe if you do not subscribe to my channel yet. And we will play around with all the supplies and see how this will work. And actually, I see some writing in here, but no, it's the it's the Chinese writing in here, so we're not going to read in here. All right, my friends, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.